hello guys so once again welcome back to chili Philly. and today i'm going to show you how to make a traffic signal that you can see on the screen that i have made a pretty cool traffic signal using only html and css file here i have not used any kind of javascript code so you can see on the screen that uh, for a specific timing a red bar is appearing and after that yellow bar and then the signal got, is going to green and it is blinking okay, you can see on the screen and it will be once again it will be red yellow and it will be for infinite time so today i will show you how to make this animation using only html and css file and here i have the basic html skeleton so i have two files of one of traffic signal dot html and second is dot css file and uh, i have linked the css file here and now inside the body tag i am going to open a span tag and giving it the id of uh, road okay and i am closing it okay now i am going to open a div tag with the id of uh, traffic signal okay and i am also going to close it now inside the traffic signal id i am going to open one more div tag and giving it the id of protector it is protector and this is for those uh, you can see here this is for this uh, protectors there are three protectors so we will copy this and uh, paste this okay two more times and now once again i am going to open a div tag with the id of red that will be for the red circle or the red signal okay and uh, i am also going to close it with this and inside this i am going to open a paragraph tag with the id of p red this this is for the text and uh, for this the text will be stop when the red signal is on you have to stop okay so i'm going to copy this and also pasting this two times now the second will be for the yellow sorry yellow and p yellow Okay, and the text would be are you ready? So, and uh, now for the third ID would be green, and the paragraph ID would, would be P green, and uh, the text would be go. Okay. So now I'm going to save it and I will show you in the HTML how would it look so you can see there are some simple tags only so now we will write the CSS file that is the main code okay now for the HTML the background I will prefer the linear gradient here and uh, giving it of his as 0 8 f x color to add FFF okay now some padding of 40 pixels and then I'm giving the width of 170 pixels for the traffic signal and height of 100% okay and giving some margin 0 and auto so it will consider from top zero and left right auto now for the traffic signal id sorry traffic signal mm, i would like to give the background first of all and giving it one good one hex color giving the background image property here and giving also linear gradient here 
and making it transparent of 3% then of x color 111 and it will be of 30% okay so now the second thing is giving the width of 170 pixels and the height of 400 pixels for the traffic signal and giving the border radius to 20 pixels and setting the position to relative for some animation purposes and I'm also giving the border property here so border will be of uh, 5 pixels solid and of hex color 333 okay so I'm going to save it and opening in the browser refreshing it okay you can see a uh, box of uh, 170 pixels and of width of uh, 170 pixels and height of 400 pixels okay so now I'm going to apply the animation for the before so I'm going to write this traffic signal and before okay and setting the content to blank and this will be for uh, the round about or you can say the protector about the signal okay so content will be zero or nothing and giving the background sorry it will be background to black color and then some width of 170 pixels and giving the height of 150 pixels setting the position sorry position to absolute for the animation purposes and setting the top to minus 20 pixels so it will be visible and giving the border radius sorry border radius to 100% for the circle and setting the z index here here I am first of all setting one so you can see the whole circle and so I'm going to save it and open the browser okay you can see this now we want it to be minus one so you can see this okay there is a protector and now now we have to apply some animation for the traffic signal and uh, after okay so it would be for the bar okay the traffic signal handler or you can say the traffic bar and i'm giving the background to x color of 2 to 2 and setting the background image to linear gradient from minus 90 degree sorry what happened here? from minus 90 degrees sorry, there is something wrong okay then the block is off so and uh, from 2 to 2 of 0 percent and to x color 4 for 4 and 30 percent and 0 0 0 you should learn if you don't know about the linear gradient property then you should learn about it it is very easy and i'm giving the width of uh, 50 pixels for the bar and height of 500 pixels and giving the margin left to 60 pixels and position sorry here will position to absolute and setting the top to 150 pixels so it will be visible and giving the z index to minus one here first of all i will give plus one so you can see it okay you can see there is a bar and uh, we don't want to look like this so we will set it to minus one pixel 
and you can see this okay now you can clearly see it so now we have to apply some animation for the protector for which are in the left and right and giving the backgrounds property to transparent and setting the weight to 180 pixels and giving the height of 0 pixels here and setting the position sorry position to absolute and top to 20 pixels and setting the left to minus 35 pixels here I'm giving the border right border right to 30 pixels solid and of color transparent and it will be for the left curve of 30 pixels and now I'm going to copy this and now pasting it here okay and this will be for the border left and uh, now for border top it will be of uh, 90 pixels solid and of x color 111 this will create a protector in the method okay and giving the border radius to 10 pixel for some curves and setting the z index to plus one first of all so you can see the protector replacing it okay you can see this there's the protector and now we want to set it like this so minus one and I'm going to save it and opening the browser you can see it's a protector so now we have to set some other protector in the HTML we have created three protector so now for the end style property sorry and for the second child setting the top position to 140 pixels and for the end child and for targeting the third child and setting the top to 260 pixels and saving it and opening the browser okay you can see the three protectors here so now we have done with this and now we have to set the signals which are the main part so in the background of red here and background image Sorry, I just really hate this kind and giving the radial gradient here from brown to transparent and giving the background size to 5 pixels from horizontal and 5 pixels from vertical like this and setting the width to 100 pixels and height of 100 pixels and giving the border radius sorry to 100% to create circle from the square and setting the position to absolute for some animation purposes and so I'm setting the top to 20 pixels and left to 35 pixels from the our Traffic signal so it will center down and giving the border to 2 pixels solid. No, it will be dotted because we want our traffic signal to look real and red color and giving the box shadow here of uh, inset 0, 0, and 20 pixel of blur of x color 111 and other of 0 0 
10 pixels and of red color okay and here I will apply the animation and the name of the animation would be red it will last for 15 seconds and it will be for infinite time okay so now I'm going to save it and opening the browser okay you can see here that is the red light signal okay so we have to add two more signal of green and yellow colors so I'm going to copy this all sorry I have to copy this whole thing and here I will paste it two more times now for the yellow light the background would be yellow and the radial gradient will be orange to transparent and other thing is okay and setting the top position to 145 pixels and it will be of uh, yellow color and setting the box header is okay animation name will be changed it will be yellow and color I think should keep it yellow okay so I'm saving it and now for the green color I'm setting it the background color to green and some radial gradient from line to transparent okay this is okay this is okay and setting the top position to 270 pixels 270 pixels I'm saving it and Border would be of green color. Sorry, what is happening? And this will be also of green color. Sorry. And the animation would be of green. Okay. So I'm saving it and opening the browser, and you can see this. So we have to now apply the animation here. But before this, I would like to give some more thing. And that is for the keyframes. For the red animation, and at zero percent. Sorry, animation is red, and at zero percent. Then at 20%, 40% of the animation, 60% of the animation, 80% of the animation, and at 100% of the animation. So here I'm setting the opacity to 1. And I'm going to copy all the things here because we have just set the opacity. So here at one, one, and here I'll set point one to make it less visible. Point one, and also point one. So now I'm going to copy all this thing, and uh, I'm going to paste it here two times. Now for animation frames and yellow color yellow and this will be for green now for yellow we will set it first of all it will be point 0.1 one, point one, and at 60% it 40% it will be visible and then it would not be visible or you can say the opposite value will be point 0.1 and now for the green 0% we will add some more and for the blinking effect so I'm going to copy this and pasting it for 83, 86, 89, 93 and 96% 83, 86, 89, 93, 
96 and 100 percent so first of all here will at 0 percent point one point one at 60 percent it would be one at 80 percent it will be one and 83 percent point one then one point one and one and point one and one plus so it will create a blinking effect because we are setting the opacity to eternity so i'm going to save it and opening the browser and you can see this first of all there is a then this light will glow and then the opacity will be 0.1 so they will not be visible and the green light will be blinking okay so now i will add some more parts in the next video or the second part of this video and i will create some more animation in this video so if you guys really enjoyed this video then please like share and subscribe to this video and i will see you guys in the very next video so thank you guys for watching this video